and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Kazarian, and we are back in Automation, the car company tycoon game. And today we are redesigning the 1970 Sport Firehawk. So, we are switching this around into the 1974 Sport. We're going to save that, and we're going to take a look at what we can do next. So it's a 5-speed single clutch pushing 165 miles an hour. I just want to take a look at the engine. We're still using the Dynamo, um, which is a V8 cross plane. And just taking a look at it though. Prometheus is a V6. Really, we only had a V6 in this thing. That surprises me. Four point liter V6. Okay. Um. Prometheus was a V8. There we go. So we were using. So we put the Prometheus. Dynamo. Dynamo is a 4.8 V8. There we go. That seems to work. And we are going to duplicate this. DOHC forehead, I beam steel forged. Okay, good, 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 good. good. Uh, they're actually aspirated still because we can't put turbochargers on these guys. Yeah, okay. Mechanical single race super leg. So, <clears throat> this is going to be an issue eventually. We're going to have to switch this over. Now, I still have a little bit more power, I think. Design 
five gear speed, top speed 167. tires at least. Uh -huh. I hope we would. There was some real wheel finishing there. Okay. So we're still... Yeah, we're still having issues here. And we're looking for downforce. Not downforce. Alright, so let's car company getting into the business of, you know, exploiting aerodynamics to make our cars fit better. There we go. Let's go back to the actual cars. Okay. So. Bounce out somehow. See the effect this having. So this is this is a fun little curve to watch. Watch my feet lines. All right, it's it's sport, it's sport, it's sport. Getting more tan, getting more tan. Suddenly it gets wicked sporty at about 100 miles an hour, and then it just plummets in terms of how fast it is, how much it can turn. Somehow I don't think my buyers would make. Now we actually have more grip than we have power, so that's going to be nice tire speed. So we have the grip that we need, and that's a good thing. And we have plenty better. Okay. Detail stats. Plus 40. They don't like the driver assist, so that's fine. They like the engine a lot, they like the gearbox a lot, they don't like the chassis. 
Chrome height, whatever. Engine sound, curve. They all like these. They all like these. Now, this is an interesting problem. Oh, hello. Okay. But what I'm thinking the most about here is the sandbox. Last 10 clear design bullet, please. And we're going to look at body types. Of which we have quite a few. Now, we could go with... Not that one. We could go with this one. I'm not a huge fan of that one. This we're sort of 70s Euro trash racer. What about this? And we will not make this a fire auction too. We will make this a fire version. Even though there's a real car with that name and I usually try and stick away from real car names. Alright, so we have a monocoque chassis, steel frame. Transverse, but we can go with double wishbone on front and double wishbone on rear. Steel body type. And I know I'm probably going to run over on this one. No! Good, I won't. Okay, good. So we're going to leave off the list for headlight design for a little while.
transverse, double, double, field. There we go. Oh, I'm just dropping things. Yeah. What did I get? There. Okay, now. Generator, which is our V6, or we can grab the S6 left. Uh, yes, mid transverse or mid longitude. So, we're going to put the longitude for the engine there. That lets us not hit. I think we have a bug. Okay, let's do this. Let's clear this out. Let's go to sandbox. Open the Firebird. Okay. Engine too big to fit in car. Okay. We're gonna call 
this. ratio looks good. Let's actually get this thing tested and see how much it is. Get this guy. Alright, we're not doing that thing. Alright, so let's get this. Okay, let's get that RPG. Thank you. Now. Let's get a picture for you. Okay, we have a bunch of fuel. So let's get our compression up. I'm trying to get more and more balance flow. We're pushing 304 horsepower out of a naturally aspirated fuel injected engine. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Okay. And. With a 2 inch double of twin exhaust, we're now pushing 328 horsepower. Just the right size fit in the car. Uh, the reason it does that, by the way, it says it won't fit in the car, then it will fit in the car, then it won't fit in the car, 
right that both of them are. That's because of uh, the game is actually looking at it as it's vibrating around its test mount because they're simulating that with the finger. So when it says it won't fit, it will fit, it won't fit. What that really is saying is it's wobbling, and so the game isn't certain exactly how big it is, but it'll fit. Manual gearbox, single clutch. Uh, if you're buying this thing, you probably will not be happy with it unless they give you a five-speed gear ratio. Because it has a projected top speed of 191 miles an hour. That's a lot of cookies. Open. Okay, you're getting semi slicks. There's there's no way around the fact this card is Outside of a mid engine vehicle, cooling is always an issue. So we have 319 defense. On the bright side, this design decision allows us to go with a very, 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 very um, profile vehicle. Happy unless it's a twin exhaust that it's on the back. Like that. You see where this thing's sitting now, by the way. Right back. Actually, it's pretty much over the rear engine. So, making this thing rear engine isn't actually a terrible thing at all. Um, it's actually going to make the car. Wait, do I have 235? She holds up for high speed. So that leaves sports. Crazy track. No power steering because you sports people kind of don't like power steering. Crazy. Okay. Standard gas mono. That leaves sports setting. So let's fix... Yeah, fine. Our 
top speed max out at 165, by the way. I could probably get it higher, but I need to use turbos, Breaks are here, red lines. And then the blue line is my rear brakes. Right, because my rear. Okay, yeah, that makes sense then. Okay, right. Why is this not working? That would be because it's basically a rear engine. Here, if you look at my rear tire information, it's decreasing, but my front tire information is increasing. So we're just having a bit of an argument with the game right now. There we go. But which way is this going to go? Bench is better. That tuned out. Now let's take a good long look at our air figures. Um, that's doing exactly what I thought it was doing. Need to add some the aerodynamics are apparently our friend. Aerodynamics are our friend. Wings. I don't like that. How about this one. I'm marginally happier. Around a little bit. Make sure the front of my car stays vaguely stuck to the road here. Popping out about 164 miles an hour. Our sportiness rate goes to 116. Like gearbox, chassis stiffness they don't like. Uh, brake fade still an issue. Oh, that's why it's still an issue.
go. That looks good there. Brake balance. They're not thrilled with it, but whatever. I like the torque curve, the drive height, the CD is okay. All right, that looks pretty decent. Uh, drivability, I think we could fix here. Understeer, oversteer, you have no fix on that. Lack of power steering, they're not going to like that, but that's the reason we're there. Uh, footprint, yeah, that's fine. Brake fade, well, yeah, brake balance, yep. Yeah. Drive train, no. Tires, and there's semi slick, what do you want? Wheel spin, well, that's why I have the tires on there. Driver height, it's a sports car, what do you want? Uh, all right, that works. Practicality, yeah. It's a sports car. Economy, it's actually not horrendous for a V8 engine. Um, that isn't too bad. Running costs are a bit high, though. Markets, what are we looking at? Alright, we're in Hyper, Sport, and Muscle. We're winning hands down. It's the muscle car. You know, this doesn't look like a muscle car at all. Uh, and we're cheaper. Look at that. We are winning hands down for Hyper cars, and we are cheaper. We are winning for Sport budget, we're more expensive. We're winning for muscle premium and we're cheaper. Supercar, we're winning and we're cheaper. Sport car, we're winning and we're cheaper. Convertible, same thing. Light sport, same. Fun premium, same. Convertible sport, same. Track, same. Light sport. We're still winning it, we're cheaper. Family Sport. How are we winning Family Sport? This is this is not a family car. It has like two seats in the car. Maybe if your family is like you and your wife, maybe. I don't know. Look at this though. I don't think I've ever built this car. No, we're not winning GT. We're not winning GT. We're cheaper, but we're not as good. Pony, we're winning hands down. We're not cheaper than that. Uh, GT Premium. Convertible Sport Budget, we're close. We're better, but more slightly more expensive. Uh, we are not winning premium budget, though. I'm, I'm not surprised by that. This is not designed to be a budget car. So look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We have built a car that is, I would say, one of the best cars I've built so far. It is a fantastic car. Alright, thanks so much for watching. Sorry about the long episode, but hey, look what we built. See you guys next time. This is Mr. Kasari. Hope you enjoyed watching. If you enjoyed watching, give me a like, subscription, or comment if you didn't like something that you really want. You know, I can't figure out anything. Anyway, thank you for watching, and as always, happy building.